A lot of studies show that uh, many infertile women or couples have a lot of stress. And uh, there, again, there are several studies that show that. So is it, are they stressed out because they cannot get pregnant or are they not being able to get pregnant because they're stressed out? Mm -hmm. Or is it a loop? Like they start being stressed out and there's too much stress and then they cannot get pregnant and then they become stressed out because they cannot get pregnant, which increases the stress. Mm -hmm. And then they become really, really stressed out even more. And that's a, a, a loop that is hard to get out of. So... I like to um, it's I like to address the stress. It's always a good bet that somebody is going to be stressed out, and if the person decreases their stress, they might be able to get pregnant. Um, so the way to decrease the stress is to ask the body part what to ask their uterus, for example. Uh, what is happening? What is the feeling? To ask their ovaries, what is the feeling? Give a voice to their uterus, their ovaries. Give a voice to their heart. Give a voice to their belly, to their stomach. And sometimes there is also two different parts of a person. There is a part of a woman that would love to get pregnant. And there's another part of her that will be scared of getting pregnant. So I like to give also those different parts a voice mm -hmm. and have what I, what I talk, uh, I present as an inner group therapy, except that instead of having different persons, we've got different organs or different parts of the person. And to me, it's just fascinating once we open that door to see how many different parts we can have. Again, it's, it could be the part of us that really wants to get pregnant, the part of us that is scared, what's going to happen once we are pregnant. Uh, but it could be also uh, the heart part, that my heart needs a voice because I'm stressed out at my job or I'm stressed out in my relationship with my husband or the uterus will have a voice and say, well, how is it going to be uh, if I get pregnant? Am I going to get dilated? And how, how am I going to react if I'm dilated? And, and get into uh, how it's going to be with that organ, the uterus, to be dilated and how um, amazing it's going to be to be, get pregnant and how uh, People can distress and relax thinking about that. Some other people, it might do the opposite. It might stress them out. But there's so many people that are so different. Each person is a, a different individual. And that's why I, I think it's fascinating to see how um, each person reacts. Mm 